In this video, I'm going to show you the number pad actions in Reaper. Now the number pad on a computer or keyboard is usually to the right of the other keys, the QWERTY keys. So if you have a big enough keyboard, you could access these functions. But don't confuse them with these number keys over here on the QWERTY side. Those have different actions assigned to them. Although there's other ways to access them, just check out your operating system. We're going to focus on the default actions for the number pad keyboard shortcuts. And to see them, we'll go up here to the actions menu, show action list, and type in on define shortcut one of the keyboard shortcuts we want to use. Let's start with the number pad one. And this action shows up right here move contents of items left. And notice for number pad three, it's going to move contents of the items right. So these two keys work together, one and three. And the behavior is very similar to holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just dragging within our items to adjust the content within the items. Notice the item itself doesn't move, which it will if we don't hold down the modifier, just drag it around. But if we hold down the modifier, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, it just moves the contents. But we could use the keyboard shortcut to do the same thing. Let's get closer. Now, if we type the one key, it moves the contents over to the left. Or if we type the three key, it moves it to the right. So we could do it very quickly to move it over bit by bit to the left or bit by bit to the right. Or hold it down to go faster. And it's based on pixels. So the more zoomed in we are, the smaller the change will be. The more zoomed out we are, the larger the change will be. Although it's still pretty small, one pixel. So that's the number pad one and three key. Now let's check out the number pad two key right here, which goes along with the eight key. The two key moves the items down one track and moves the envelope points down a bit. And the eight key moves the items up one track and the envelope points up one bit. So let's see it in action. Dealing with our items, let's create another track down here. Let's say I wanted to move this item to this track. We can just drag it and drop it. But notice it's also going to move left and right, putting our audio at a time. So instead, we can just hit the number pad two key and it moves it down a track. We'll hit the eight key to move it up a track. And if we don't have a track to go to and we hit it, Reaper creates a new track for it. So it makes it a bit easier if we want to move our items or our audio to different tracks without changing the timing of them. Eight for up and two for down. And this will also work for envelopes or envelope points. Let's create a volume envelope on this track. Let's create some points by holding down the shift key. Put one here, here, and here. And with this point selected, we could hit the eight key and it moves it up one dB. We'll hit the two key and it goes down a dB each time we trigger it. And it'll work for multiple points as well. Let's move this point over here, put another one over here, select them both. Use the number two to bring it down. And it brings down that envelope segment altogether. We'll go up to bring it up one dB at a time. Or we could do all the points. Let's draw it in, select them all, bring them all up with the eight key or down with the two key. So it'll work for moving our items up and down a track moving our envelopes up and down a DB using the two and eight key. Now the four or six key is gonna move the whole item left or right one pixel. This is also useful if we zoom in a bunch, let's get really small. Let's split this and delete this piece. Now if we hit the four key, moves it over to the left on both sides, the whole item or the six key moves the whole item to the right. See the left and we can hold it down or right with the six key to hold it down 
to make it more precise. Of course, we can still drag it like this, but if we want to get more precise and line it up, we could use the four and six key. But just like with the two and eight key, this will also work with envelope points. Create some points. Let's just select this one, bring it up with the eight key. We can move it left and right with the four and six key. Four is to the left and six is to the right. And again, we could do it to multiple points like this, four to the left or six to the right. Now we could also use the seven and nine key. Type seven in here. And right over here, it's gonna move items to the left, but preserving the timing of the contents. So it does the opposite of the one and three key, where it moves the contents without the item. This is gonna move the item without the contents for the seven and nine key. Let's check it out. We'll zoom in, get rid of this piece. If we wanna move the item, but preserve the contents, use the seven key, move it left, or the nine key to move it right, and hold it down to go a bit faster. And again, it's based on pixels. So the more zoomed in we are, the smaller the change will be. The more zoomed out we are, the larger the change will be. Although it's still pretty small, one pixel at a time. Now the number pad five key, as we can see, is not assigned. So you can add your own shortcut to this, as it's not already being used. Of course, you could change all of them if you want. But the next key, which also appears on the number pad is the plus or minus key. Right here, to zoom in horizontally, we'll zoom out horizontally. So we could use this to zoom in by hitting the plus key, or we'll zoom out by hitting the minus key. And again, we could hold down to go faster to do the same thing. And we could also add modifiers to the number pad to change their behavior. So if we choose Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and four, it's gonna shrink the right edge of our items. Well, if we do it with six, it's gonna grow the right edge of our items. So over here is our right edge, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, hit four, it's just the right side of our items to be shorter or shrink. We'll hit the six key to grow the right side. And we can do the opposite with control on the PC or command on the Mac and the four and six key. As we can see right here, it's gonna grow the left edge of our items. So control on the PC, command on the Mac and the four key, it grows the left side of our items. Let's zoom in a bit more so you can see it. Notice it doesn't affect the other side. If we wanna affect both, we use the seven and nine key. Seven to go this way or nine to go this way. But if we just want to affect the left side, hold the control on the PC, command on the Mac, and hit the four key to grow it or shrink it with the six key. And again, do the same thing over here by using Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to shrink it with the four key or grow it with the six key. And the last action I want to show you is to zoom horizontally to the time selection. If we create a time selection that's this long, we could zoom to this size by holding down control on the PC or command on the Mac and hitting the plus key. And now it zooms in to exactly that size, before and after. Just create a time selection for the area you wanna see, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it zooms in to exactly that size. Now, if you notice, I'm going to the previous size by hitting another key, which isn't assigned by default. So this is an extra action I wanna show you. Type into the filter, previous zoom. There's an action right here to restore the previous zoom level. I have it set up to be the Z key, but by default, it's not assigned at all. But I really like to assign something to it. As I showed you, you can assign the five key to it as it's not assigned, but just choose any key as it's really helpful to go to the previous zoom at any point. So if we zoom in to the time selection, we wanna go back, hit that keyboard shortcut to go to the previous zoom level. Now there's a bunch of actions for the number pad that only work in the MIDI editor. And I'm gonna show that to you in a separate video. So that's pretty much it. That's the number pad actions in Reaper. I hope you learned something. 
Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Bye.